Well, this morning we're joined by a well-known face to all our SABC2 friends, Heino Schmidt, well-known for years as the kind-hearted, hard-working Altus from Hillside. But since his departure last year, he's decided to focus on following his passion, which is working with his hands. Yes, ladies, he works with his hands. But uh, one can't just leave the camera forever now, can you? So Heino's joined SABC2's Barcella as a full-time presenter, and he joins us to talk about his transition from being a soapy actor to being a presenter. So it's going to be great to find out about what's been going on in your life, because uh, for years, like I said now, your daily schedule was all about call times, lines, in front of camera, and being this character, Altus. So does it feel strange anymore to you now to be in front of camera, but now you're, you're yourself? Well, yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, strange and it's different, you know. It, it, um, it was quite a fun, uh, kind, kind of fun to, to put on a floral shirt and a tie and, and to give orders to people. And, yeah. And I guess it was, you know, you worked in studio every day, so it was... It was nice, yeah, but it's yeah. nice to be outside, you know, and, and have a change of scenery every day. You go to different places, meet different people, and you have fun. And yeah. you get to be yourself, in a way. Kind of yourself, you know, you can't always just be yourself. But you, <laughs> Some you know, weird you things You've got to rein yourself out. in a little bit every <laughs> exactly. now and then. But, but yeah, it's, it's fun. Would you say it's less pressure being a presenter than being an actor, or vice versa? What well, would you say? Well, it's different, you know, you can't really, you can't compare the two. It's totally different. Yeah. Um, it's It's difficult sometimes to to not be yourself if you want to be yourself being a presenter yeah um, and and it's nice to play a character too at the same time you know yeah. you, you you get challenged to to portray and share your soul in a way that that um, presenting doesn't allow you to do absolutely so now let's talk about your role as a presenter and I'm sure you've met some very interesting people along the way have there been some surprises? Have you found out something interesting about the guests you've spoken to, the people you've interviewed that you thought that you never thought before, perhaps? Yeah, you know, the coolest interview that I've had was uh, with Jay Something from Mikasa. Oh yeah, it was really, really cool. It was actually funny because uh, we we spoke a little bit in Afrikaans, and he told me that he watched Sea of Andalan. That's oh, how we really? learned to speak a bit of Afrikaans. <laughs> Um, and just his story, you know, where he's from, how, he's, how his name happened. Uh, I don't know if you know why they call him Jay something. Because nobody can pronou pronounce Raul. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, like, come on. <laughs> and, and, and how he became, you know, how he got to be a part of Mikasa. Yes. That is an incredible story, too. I don't know if you know how that happened. No, no, do tell. Um, uh, so he, he, he studied in, in, in Stellenbosch. I think he studied marketing or something. Uh -huh. And he was going to go back to, to East London, where he grew up, and be a singer, you know, sing in bars and stuff like that. And his yeah. cousin invited him to come to Joburg. He went to Joburg, and they were at a house party or some party somewhere, some big Lani party. Yes. And there were these people, you know, this DJ playing and, you know, a uh, sax player. And, and he was like, at some point, he looked up and he was like, I want to I wanna sing, you know. I wanna For the, with these guys, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so he, you know... Thought, picked up a mic not? and then yeah, he went and he said uh, do you mind if I sing and the guy said no 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 it's fine and he started singing and they were grooving and everybody was loving it and and after the party people came to them and wanted pictures and said uh, where can we buy your CD oh and wow. he said hang on hang on I just want to introduce myself hi I'm Jay something and he met them for the first time right there and then while people wanted to buy their CD and a week later they were in studio recording Talk about wow. destiny. That was meant to happen right there, man. How crazy is wow. that? And speaking of which, you're following your destiny, I guess, in some way, because you've decided to pursue your passion once again of working with your hands. You make bespoke pieces of furniture. How does that fit into your daily schedule? That must be crazy, because you could get a call at any time saying, Woody, you know, soon to come without a skit. Yeah, yeah, but it's cool. You know, you, it keeps you on your toes and uh, keeps you busy. And wherever you go in different places, you, you find something. I find inspiration from nature and architecture. So it's quite cool to, um, to, to be exposed to as much as possible that's inspiring. Wow. Tell me about this piece, Emotional Intelligence Found in Coral, Bones Butterflies Unfolding. I'm actually wow. working on, on this piece. Uh, this is, uh, these are just bones that I'm, I'm placing together. This is a social commentary piece. Um, it's quite an interesting piece. It will be interesting. It's going to be big. Um, wow. It's going to say a lot. If, if, if these pictures are anything to go by, they speak a thousand words, man. Thank you. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. But we can't wait to get to know you a little bit more. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know it's not easy waking up this time of the morning, but we do appreciate it. But before we go, we wanted to, to ask you to just exercise a bit of your, your thespian muscle, your acting muscle a little bit. So using that camera over there, I'm going to describe a scenario to you. And when I'm done, I'll count you down. And you're going to give us your most emotional soapy stare that describes that moment. So you've just now walked in 
at home and you've, you've, you've discovered that Polar has been adopting puppies online, okay? But you're allergic to puppies, okay? It's potentially fatal for you, okay? Polar has not been thinking about you. Three, two, one, action. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> and he's still holding it. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, man. All right, we'll have more with Marcella presenter Heino Schmidt a bit later on on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Let's catch up with the team. <laughs>